What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech once again. Welcome to the sixth finals episode for Mining Rig Wars. This is going to reveal the winners for episodes 17, 18, and 19, and then you'll have the chance to vote for your favorite rig up here in the corner by clicking the exclamation point. Don't forget to pick up the t-shirt that we have released by clicking the link in the description below. It says, I bought your GPU, and then Son of a Tech, because we need to brand everything right. Ah, uh, I think so. Anyways, without further ado, let's hop into it. Welcome back. So starting things off, we have the winner from episode 17 of Rig Wars, which you can check out by clicking the Mining Rig Wars playlist up in the corner. It's Rig A Block 4 by Hendrick. He's rocking a whole bunch of G4400s in each rig with the 4 gigabytes of memory, a DDR4, non-branded he stated, so I'm not sure exactly where he picked those up. On Gigabyte H110 D3A motherboards, a total of 30 Sapphire RX 474 gigabytes and a total of 24 Power Color RX 474 gigabytes. All of these are mining additions. A 120 gigabyte SSD in each rig from Patriot, and each rig also comes with a dual PSU 750 watt and light black. I'm not sure, I've never actually heard of that branding. The total hash rate for the farm is 1505 mega hash a second. The winner from episode 18 is Rig B Mining Shed by Beer Man. He's rocking 192 GPUs, 16 by 12 GPUs, various models ranging from RX 570s, 580s, 480s, and 470s. It doesn't appear that he has any NVIDIA cards, so we're talking about an entire farm here of Red Team once again. 16 EVGA 750 watt platinum power supplies, and for the GPUs, he's rocking the HP 1200 watt server power supplies he also has some delta 2400 watt server power supplies as well with the accompanying of course breakout boards i'm assuming 15 msi z170a gaming m7s with a two by one pci four multipliers allowing him to go all the way up to 12 gpus per motherboard a single biostar tb250 btc pro 15 sticks of 16 gigabyte M.2 Kingston SSDs and one 16 gigabyte SATA SSD, 14 Intel G3900s, one Intel 4500, and a G3930 as well. Various models of four gigabytes of DDR4, whatever he could get his hands on. It's just a lot of hash there that he's got going on, but he didn't specify exactly how much hash. Finally, we have Rig C E104 by Ryan. He's rocking 20 Power Color RX 480 Red Devils, the eight gigabyte edition. He's getting 29 to 30 mega hash a second out of each one with custom firmware so he has gone ahead and flashed the bios i'm assuming there eight and tech high current gamer 850 watt power supplies four sticks of eight gigabytes of vulcan memory and four asrock h81 pro btc motherboards and four entry i3 cpus with windows 10 and then he's actually running that Windows 10 on 500 gigabyte regular old ass hard drives is what I'm going to call them. HDDs, aka. He's rocking a between 585 to 605 mega hash a second. Now all of these rigs have something in common and that's that we're not actually kind of moving into the single rig thing or setup here anymore. It's obvious that the way you guys are voting is we are preferring taking a look at total farm. Arms. Since that seems to be the case, I am debating whether or not we need to go ahead and split this off into a secondary series where we have Mining Rig Farm Wars, maybe that would work, and then Mining Rig Wars where we have more of the hobbyist kind of 
frames, etc. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know that the that YouTube is ever evolving, and I want to make sure we're moving in the right direction for you all. I don't want to see the regular rigs getting pushed to the bottom because we have awesome farms like this, and so that might be one of the ways that we can go ahead and alleviate kind of the problem that I'm starting to see arise here. And the votes weren't even close with some of the single card rigs, or sorry, single rigs. Uh, it, these way outweigh them as far as votes go. That being said though, let's go ahead and go back through these. Ryan's rig, rig C, is basically in a server rack. At the bottom of the rack he has a nice big fan blowing air up through the system. He did go ahead and mount these GPUs in there separate without actually mounting them with like the Rosewell 4U case, which I think personally probably is a better decision for airflow, depending on how high, you know, of RPM fans you can get in the Rosewell case. My only downside with the Rosewell case there is it does look like the clearance doesn't allow for double width fans. So the really high like server grade fans aren't necessarily always going to fit in those kind of allotted slots for that, that particular case. And I think to get really good airflow, we're going to have to start taking a look at it, uh, another case redesign for mounting at least in a rack like Ryan's. So I'm actually kind of lean towards his decision there over using, you know, the cases from Rosewell. Now the mining shed, it does appear to me that what's going on underneath the shed is a way to go ahead and bring fresh hair air in and that's why you see the grates down there and I went ahead and looked at kind of the way that's designed I'm curious how humidity is dealt with etc or if it's just in a really dry climate area now for rig a block 4 the great thing about all of this is that every single rig appears to be pretty much cookie cutter so lots of experience with using the exact same hardware over and over again and and building the frames out exactly kind of mit matched so building those wood frames kind of has come down to a science i think for him i think this is one of the easiest ways to go however getting your hands on graphics cards now makes building something specific like this over and over again a little bit more difficult especially since the likelihood of finding an rx 470 is pretty low not to mention just finding memory in general is kind of <laughs> kind of difficult and even I've seen, you know, the G4400s starting to go out of stock quite quickly. The ventilation and the power, uh, just everything is laid out. It appears to me ready to go for a larger operation. So I'd like to see it when it's a little bit more finished. But all of these farms, essentially, like I said, these aren't really rigs. All of these farms are pretty impressive and are doing a lot of work to validate your transactions. So vote for your favorite with the exclamation point in the corner. Be sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you next Tuesday.